Welcome to my YouTube channel, everybody. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, so we're doing a video request, the first of its kind, and this will be on surviving your call center experience. Now, before we move on to that, I want to thank everybody for the 200 plus subscribers in such a short time. I really do appreciate the swift and steady growth and continue sharing the video with your friends. Tell them to come over, like and subscribe as well. It really does motivate me to continue making videos. Share, 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 like, 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 please. If you're not subscribed as yet, just click that subscription button. It should be somewhere down at the bottom of the screen here, I think. Hopefully, it should be there. Here's a disclaimer. A call center is not a literal war zone, okay? It's not a dangerous place. In and of itself, it's not that bad, uh, to be honest. It provides people with jobs, which provide people with security, which allows people to take care of themselves and their families, and it's a hell of a lot better than not having a job. So I'm just putting that out there. It's not a bad place. Hopefully you don't have to be looking over your shoulder, right? It's a safe environment. So most people shy away from call centers because of the many stories that they might hear from their friends and their family about the conditions of working in a call center. It could be the pay. It could be the outrageously irregular hours. It could be managers that need managerial training. It could be any, any of those plus a lot more. So much so that the BPO sector has gotten a name for itself, modern day slavery. So be it the poor pay or the strict criteria that you have to make to make good pay, the irregular hours or unnatural hours that you have to force your body to work or the managers that need managerial training and communication and stuff like that it could be any of those many people may have their own reason for why they call this modern day slavery but i have mine so here's a history lesson 300 years ago 1712 william lynch the man from which lynching is named after said he has a self refueling mechanism in which you can keep slaves being slaves in his writings the making of a slave he said that you must basically divide the population you must give some more power than some so much so that they will feel as if they're above the rest and we can see this in certain movies like if you watch if you watch Django where Samuel L Jackson sold out Jamie Foxx, who is also another black man for Leonardo DiCaprio, say, you know, he's planning to run, he's this, he's that. You know, I call it the Mr. Kato effect. If you've ever watched Underground, it's a series on American slavery. If you've never watched it, I do recommend it for you to watch. You can watch it on Gujar, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But if you've ever watched Underground, you will know Mr. Kato. Mr. Kato is a black slave driver. And the thing is, with the black slave drivers now, they tend to work harder than the white slave drivers because they need to show that they are relevant so they enforce the rules 10 times more than their, their white counterparts would so some supervisors or some managers in a call center environment i call them mr kato and that's what i mean you know they're just trying harder to please whosoever is above them or whatever so much so that they would they wouldn't think twice to throw you under the bus they're just you know and that's why i call it a, 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 the modern day slavery environment you know just because of just because of the mr kato's so with that said that's just a rant it's a rant in my head let's move on to 10 tips in surviving your call center experience so tip number one remember why you are working Remember why you got the job in the first place. You could have been home for a period of time. You could have been hungry. You could have been sick. And you said, you know what? I'm going to work now. So remember that initial drive that you got when you decided to get up, go to the interview and get that job. Be it that you're working towards a goal. You want to start saving to buy a house. You want to buy a car. You see a phone that you need to buy. So you're going to work for I don't know, six months to buy that phone, a month to buy that phone, something. Just remember why you started and um, it, will, it will bring you through the days. Point number two. You know, most people don't go to a call center to make friends, but we are social beings, so it's basically inevitable. So when you make friends, 
ensure that they are friends that are progressive in their thinking, in their actions, and not friends that will that are regressive. Friends that you know squander their money. Friends that have bad habits that may rub off on you. Because it, the saying is true: birds of a feather do flock together. So you must have a similar interest in whatever they're doing, or they have interest in whatever you are doing for you to come together. So get friends that are progressive get friends that motivate you to do better things or to do things that are sensible point number three don't get involved in things that don't concern you so people lie people lie a lot especially in the the car center environment people will tell lie on this person people tell lie on this per person why people will throw you under the bus the first chance you get they get because why everybody is trying to keep their jobs everybody is trying to keep their jobs everybody is trying to keep their income coming in nobody is going to risk their job for you all right so if something doesn't concern you leave it alone i've seen many people lose their jobs because they stuck their nose in other people's business and people just tell a lie on them and them you know if it does not concern you leave it alone Point number four. Admittedly, this one gets me as well. Take care of your body. You need adequate rest, adequate food, adequate water. Take care of your body. Sometimes we have, you know, some works will have these overtime promotions and then we force ourselves to work so hard that we forget that we need rest. And then when we get the pay, we turn around and we just go straight to the doctor with it. So when we get that extra pay, we end up in the doctor's office and then we're like, oh, look, I just did all those hours in overtime and this is where I'm spending the money. So remember that you need adequate rest, water, food, take care of your body. Point number five, leave work stress at work. This is one that we can't stress enough. Let me give you a story. So one time I was on the phone with a guy. There was a thunderstorm in his area. He was to get a flight to go to somewhere else. So he called me, was where I was working at the airline, and he's like, my flight is delayed. So I checked the air, I'm, I'm saying, oh sir, your flight is delayed for purposes of safety, because if the flight takes off, there's a strong possibility that you're going to die. I didn't say it like that, but you know, that's the gist of what I'm saying, thunderstorm, it's for your safety. It's obvious, everybody's trapped in the airport. He's like, he needs to get to his de destination. So, you know, I tried to explain to the man, and this is how this is how I dumbed it down for him. I said, if plane goes out on runway and goes up, then lightning will go flash and plane will go boom and you will go die. You know? That's that's how simple I I I, I broke it down to him. So he proceeds to say, I need to get to my destination now. So I realized that it probably was lost in communication that if the plane takes off, he's going to die and he's not going to get to his destination. And I really wanted to tell him that just a moment, could you please hold, I'm going to get God on the line to explain your situation to, to him so he can pause the storm. But me trying not to be rude, I explained it to him again, he hung up. I probably got a bad survey, you know, and you get calls like that that will just stress you out because you're saying, you know, your own critical thinking should be able to tell you that your want cannot be granted at this time. But after the call about two or so minutes, it was neither here nor there for me, you know, but I do understand, however, that work stress will carry into the, the other day especially in you if you work in an incentive based environment which most call centers are so whatever performance you did on a, on a call yesterday you might be thinking about you say oh did i get a negative survey on that call it probably go affect my pay for next week i have bills to pay i do understand that this is a very heavy one to leave work stress at work but try your best to leave work stress at work because remember you know the work environment unfortunately does not cater to your mental health so you have to you have to take that up on your own so try to leave work stress at work number six take a vacation even if you're not going anywhere this goes without saying people sometimes we need a break from work from people from everything if 
you have vacation days if you can take a vacation take a vacation if you're not planning to go anywhere take it relax recuperate rejuvenate do something fun with your days your week your two weeks take your vacation even if you're not going anywhere funny story so one day one day i was walking by and i heard a manager say you know in my 18 years of being here I have never taken vacation. I don't know if that was supposed to be impressive or it's supposed to show his dedication to the work. But remember, you know, you're dedicated to the work. There are a lot of other people that are also dedicated to your job. Dedicate yourself to yourself as well. Number seven, talk to someone if you're going through any form of depression. If you need somebody to talk to, talk to a close friend, a relative. It provides you with an outlet. Let me share with you a story that we're talking to someone did help somebody and it goes all around the board you know it doesn't have to be with work it could be with anything in life just talk to somebody talk to somebody it helps out so one day i was at work this guy called in he's like book me a flight i'm like okay where do you want to go he's like anywhere so i'm like you know i can't just choose somewhere for you to go you know you need to tell me where you need to go so i can book the flight from where you're leaving from to where you're going he's like my ex-girlfriend just came over um she has a boyfriend and everything but i'm sick i have a cold she made tea for me she 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 stayed i told her it's okay she could leave and she said if you're sure i said okay it's okay it's fine you can leave you can go but then i realized man that i need to go because i'm still in love with her and blah 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 so the man, the man had talked to me on the phone and he said that she lived with her new boyfriend so i'm like you know the fact that she came over to help you out when you were sick means that she probably still has some feelings for you as well this guy starts crying on the phone you know and saying i really needed to hear that nick thank you man i really need to hear it. and we we're talking for a while and then we ended the call i probably got a good survey for that but he called to book a flight to go anywhere in the world and we ended up just talking and at the end of the call he felt better didn't spend any money with the company but you know somebody felt better in the world so if you're going through anything talk to someone talk to somebody close talk to somebody you know you can trust it really helps you to feel better number eight make time for rest and recreation if you work a regular eight hour shift you'll have two days off back to back for me my routine is my first day is resting and my second day i do something that i like I might make a video that I'm not going to post. I don't know why I do that, but I might play some video games. I might watch Netflix. I might go chill with friends. I, you know, I might try to learn something new. Make time for rest and recreation. It's a part of your mental health as well. It gives you something to be excited about. Number nine, be responsible with your money. So I can't talk about women spending their money on hair or nails or anything like that. I, I don't, I don't, I, I won't speak on it because I'm not a female so i don't know but young men it's hilarious and very stupid to watch a young man give majority of his money to a woman in the workplace that is making more money than he is we have to be responsible with our money young men especially when it comes down to these young women I know that most of us want to be gentlemen and in the gentleman's book we should or in our society we should give money to women and all that and this and that and oftentimes it's generally something you know something worth giving them the money they may have rent to pay they may need groceries they may need x and y but what i'm saying is be responsible with your money you understand don't take all of your pay and give it to a girl, a woman, or anybody. Invest some in yourself. Number 10. Number 9 just brought me right into number 10. Save. Nobody in a call center gets up one day and say, I, I want to work in a call center. I And nobody thinks a call center should be their final stop unless you're probably the CEO, the general manager, or manager or something like that. Nobody thinks that this is my final stop. Practice saving your money. Save towards something little until you can gather the discipline to save towards something big. It's a very important thing to have in this day and age, being able to save effectively. So yeah, okay, so let's just do a recap. Remember why you started working? 
make progressive friends. Don't get involved in things that don't concern you. Take care of your body. Leave work stress at work. Take a vacation even if you don't have anywhere to go. Just take the vacation. Rejuvenate. Talk to someone if you are depressed, stressed, talk to someone. Make time for rest and recreation. Be responsible with your money, especially young men. Save. With these 10 tips, I am pretty sure that you will be able to navigate and survive your call center experience. If you're new here, as I said, just remember to smash that subscribe button. Thank you for listening to me if you stayed this far. And hey, tune in next week.